This is the new Range Rover SV Coupe. Uh, we've just launched it here at the, at the uh, Geneva show. Fantastic reception to it. Um, this is an addition to the Range Rover family. It's not a replacement for the Range Rover, although it's about the same size as a Range Rover. It pays homage to Range Rover's unique heritage. It's a two-door uh, coupe. And in fact, our Land Rover DNA, our Range Rover DNA, does lend itself seamlessly to a two-door configuration. Although it, it, it sort of takes that heritage, it, it's, this is much more about its modernity. And in fact, from a design standpoint, this is a truly stunning car. It's quite literally for people who desire the best. And as a consequence, it's going to be very exclusive, very rare and very expensive. It still is unmistakably a Range Rover, the Land Range Rover DNA, the floating roof, the continuous belt line. And it, these optimum proportions are balanced beautifully when you photograph the vehicle with these large 23 inch wheels. It really just make this vehicle look very powerful. Um, although it's also very sophisticated. And when you look at all the detailing on it, all the detailing is honed from solid metals, including the grills, the badging, the vent on the side and, and, and other details. And then when you step inside or look inside, this is a truly sumptuous interior. At Land Rover, like most other uh, automotive brands, we are very much preoccupied with the future. And what's the future going to mean for us in terms of sustainability, in terms of connectivity, um, in, in terms of propulsion systems? And uh, late last year, we introduced the Range Rover and the new Range Rover PHEV, which is our first step into electrification. But quite frankly, that's just the start of it. Um, we, have, we are very serious about our sustainable footprint and electrification, as will other propulsion systems, will play a fundamental role in making us uh, maintain our relevance in the marketplace.